Hi everybody, it's Alexa. And Johnny. Hi, how are you? We're here from Pages of Forbidden Love. Oh god, my water's still late. It's not sponsorship. And for another in my mailbox. Hold on. Thank you. You see nothing. Ah. Are you satisfied now? Don't worry, it's not flavored water. Alright. Okay, ah, so let's start road. off with something that's actually pretty cool. So, normally I do not buy hardcover books, especially hardcover books that cost $30 from the bookstore. Jesus. But I bought this one because along with it, I got a ticket to go to the Christopher signing. He's going to be here in Arizona, so I had to actually buy the book there. And he's going to sign and personalize the fourth book, and then he's also going to sign three other books, and duh, there's three other books in the series besides the fourth one, so I'm going to take all my hardcover books of the series So I'm sign. doing all that. Yeah, we haven't decided yet if I'm going to go or if Johnny's going to go. I have the day off. He has the day off, and I do have a lot of homework projects to finish because my semester is ending, so Johnny might actually be going to this. We'll see. Plus, I'm sure he's going to talk about spoilers, and since I've only read the first book, I don't want to hear about any spoilers, because I really want to read the rest Is of the Is there really like a billion people there? I think it's, it's at a library, or like something like that. Oh my god. I don't know. But I'm letter, I'm signing group G, so at the signing it shouldn't take you too terribly long. I remember one time for Stephanie Meyer was like signing group T. Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. But anyway, that's that, so maybe Johnny will go. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll go. I just decided this is happening. <laughs> so who gave this to us? Ashley. Ashley. The book is for Matt. Yeah. Hi. How are you today? You're probably watching the video. Hope you're having a great day. See that? I interact with people. Okay. Get the shout Hi, outs. Ashley. <laughs> You're just, now you're just copying me. Okay, anyway, go ahead. I got a book. It's called The Samaritan. Would I, you like to tell me a little bit of background here before you just say, I got a book? You tell about the background. Then okay, you're so a bad job. Ashley emailed me, and she asked if Johnny would like to review some books that she's had on her review pile for and a I long said yes. time. And he said yes. So we're going to kind of do, like, review, post a review on our blog and her blog, or maybe just post it on her blog. We haven't quite worked out all the kinks yet. But she sent Johnny some books. She already sent him an ebook last week, and then she sent him these physical books this week. The Samaritan. That's one of the books. I'm actually interested in reading it. Seems like Chuck Palahniuk, but not. That's it's really the cool. Guy. The guy's fingers are cut off on the cover. Oh, right there. Cover anything up. All right, and the other book stars Mark Spitz, the swimmer. At least I think he's a swimmer. Kind of like Greg Lugane. She doesn't know. She used to swim. That's kind of disappointing. Anyway, it's called the Zone One by like Colson Whitehead. Which is the coolest last name? Well, one of them. It's a zombie book, but it's like a almost like an intellectual zombie book. So, it's I read the uh, it's description. It's a zombie of book. It. I thought it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, the living and no, the it's living a zombie, died. but it's it's like zombies almost like after like two thousand and one, like when the towers went down or something like that. Yeah, it doesn't say that. I don't know where you're getting your information from, young lady. I thought that that's what it was nope, about. No, didn't say that. Anyway, so while she was saying stuff for Johnny, um, one of the books that she told us about was Werewold, and Johnny isn't really interested in it. I don't know. But Maybe. it sounds pretty cool, and it looks like a really cool fantasy, and it's got even like a whole like complex map system like all the fantasy books do. What's the, the author's last name? Jobling? Yeah, Jobling. That's cool, too. So, it's got a whole map in there of the whole kind of world, so obviously it's one of those complex, like, teen fantasy ones. It says, to save the kingdom, he must master the beast within. How bad would it suck, though, if they give you this huge map and it didn't even come into play in the book? Or if it did, you had to study the map in order to read the book. <laughs> That'd be pretty That's though. interactive. Another book that she really didn't think Johnny was going to like at all, but actually sounded pretty cool to me, it is Sherry and Narcotics. It's supposed to be about a couple who meets online. Yeah, yeah. I'm and then, yeah. um, it's actually told in, like, letters and, like, emails. Like, kind of looks like it's a, from a typewriter. That right there. It. And it looks like it's from a typewriter, but they exchange emails and everything. Like, this email, it's, like, from Mary to Jake, subject, heaven, date, you know, Saturday. Let me read this. Saturday, November 18th. Haha, that was yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, it was. But 2006, so... Oh, I was going to read that. Just leave it alone. You'll be fine. Oh. 
So this one actually sounds really touching. A lot of people say that it's, um, you know, a great story between addiction and like, you know, an online relationship kind of thing. So sounds really great. And Ashley also sent us a whole bunch of swag. What a weird word, swag. She sent us a little note thanking us for kind of helping her. She sent us Dearly Departed. I actually really, really want to read this one. It's a zombie story and I haven't read any zombie stories. I know Ashley's probably like dying right now because she loves zombies. And she doesn't like The Walking Dead either. She's the zombie queen, actually. I'm not, I don't know, zombies never really did it for me, but, um... It's an amazing show. I really want to start reading some zombie stuff, I guess. You um, guess. She also sent us some more bookmarks. You just wake up one day and decide that? And one for Wonder Dust. This one's actually signed. Wander Dust, not Wonder Dust. Whatever. Wonder Dust is probably a drug. <sighs> She also sent Dude, us um, the Fear Test CD, which I think this was something that Harper Teen was doing with their, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the book now. Can we take it? You're probably going to fail. I think it's First not like test. a test. I think it's supposed to be like a music CD. I'm not sure, but we'll have to listen to it or do the test or whatever it is that it is. So thank you to Ashley the Bookish Burnett for all of that awesome stuff. Thank you. We can't wait to read all those. I'm stoked. And review them. Now on to some books that I continually get some? all the time. Good God. <laughs> the first one is A Copy of Stolen Away. I had an arc of something else and then I uh, just read it already so I wanted to get rid of it. So I traded it for A Copy of Stolen Away. I haven't actually read um, Alexandra Harvey's... Um, vampire book yet. I own the first book in that series, but I haven't read it yet, but this sounds really cool. It's fairies. It kind of sounds a little bit like April and Pike, and I really like April and Pike, so. What are you going to do when you catch up and reading all your books? I don't know. I don't think there's ever going to be a day where that happens. Next up from Paperback Swap, I actually got um, Paperback Uglies, which is the first book in um, I don't even know what this series is called. I think it's just called the Ugly series. But anyway, there's all the covers on the back, though. I think it's great. Nominate. So, that's that book. Um, I never read it when it came out years ago with the older covers, but I guess now with the new cover release, everybody's wanting to read this again. Oh, we can let them know our thoughts on the title by emailing this person. I know. Uh, next up from my library sale, I got Overprotected. I have heard great things about this one, and it was only for $3, and it looks like a brand new copy. Like the pages are as white as they come like when you would originally Kinda get it. Kind of looks like the Katie Home movie It looks daughter. like somebody got it and then they just decided like they didn't want it. I don't know. Another book that I had gotten from a library sale is a hardcover copy of Jane. This one again great condition. Like I literally have to like pull the book open to even open it up and um, it was also only $3. So $3 for like a brand new looking hardcover book is my kind of deal. I mean how can you go wrong when it's $3? You can if it's really bad. Okay, well, if it's really bad, I only spent $3 on it, and I can get more back for trading it at the bookstore. Maybe. Unless they know it's bad, too. I also got a copy of Chime. This one is from Half Price Books. Um, it was on. It was for $9, and it looks like a new copy. It's like when somebody gets a finished copy from a publisher, and then just didn't keep it for some reason. Um... And I actually had a coupon for, I think, like, 20% off or something like that, my whole purchase. So it was an additional 20% off the $9, so that was great. And then they also had Babe in Boyland. This is another one that I've heard really good things about. It's supposed to be really funny. It'd be a lot better if it was a boy in Babeland. Yeah. <laughs> but that's this one, and again, it's about $9. Uh, like and I got, a dream. I got an additional 20% off of that. What do you guys really think is the tagline on the back of the book? We really don't that often. I know. So, I mean, we'll see how cute it is. I mean, you know. I know that you don't think that often. Sometimes I do. So, that's everything that we got. Pretty much. Thank you so much to Ashley. Yes. It's almost Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? Books? Okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You know, by the time we do another in my mailbox, it'll, it'll already be Turkey Day. Yeah, it'll already be. And Black Friday, and I have to work that day. All right, so happy oh, Thanksgiving, Christ. everybody. Have fun at Black Friday. Eat don't, lots of turkey, don't although go I don't my really store, like please. turkey. So. I do. I don't like turkey. You don't like a lot of food. I know. Picky eater. Anyway, we should stop rambling now. Thank Take you so care. much for watching. And spike your hair.
Bye, everybody.